y'all and welcome to today's video. This is going to be the last video in the top three categories that I've been doing here on my channel. This video series was created by Julia Adams. I will have her linked down below in the description box for y'all. But I did top three in every makeup category face. I did a top three eyeshadow palette tag type of video. And now I'm going to bring you brows, brushes, liner lashes, and lips. Top three. My top three favorites in every category. And this is not easy. It's not easy to play favorites when I have so many things that I love. But I love pulling, doing things like this, just saying only three. So that's what we're going to do today. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, choosing only three. We are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots and lots and lots of new videos every single week. So make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on any of the fun makeup content I post. But I have a lot in front of me. I have a lot to share with y'all. So let's jump into it. Let's start with brows. I have blonde brow hair. Like there's not a whole lot. I do have a lot of brow hair here and then it gets kind of sparse and it's all blonde like from here on out. So I really have to fill in my brows. So I try a lot of brow products. A lot of brow products. So I feel like I know what I like. I know what's good. And I have three different brow products to share with y'all. I have first up is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is my holy grail. There is a brush tip on one side. It's not a pen. It's a brush and it's perfect for creating these hair like strokes right up front. And then there is like a precision brow pencil on the other side. I like brow pencils that are very tiny like this because I like to be precise when I'm filling in. I know people with gorgeous, natural Brooke Shields type of brows, you can throw in a brow gel, you can go, you're beautiful, wonderful. That's amazing for you, I'm very jealous, but I have to create things. So I also love my Morphe. These three things I have on me all the time, on me, like in my collection at all times. That's what I mean. I love the Morphe, micro brow pencil. You have a spoolie on one side and then this tip here is a very fine pencil tip. Same as the brow blade but this is a drugstore price point. Very nice. Can get in there and get a precise line and I like to pair this. This is a two-in-one product but it is a high-end price point. This goes great with this. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. This is a brush tip applicator that allows me to get those hair like strokes. So you can see these two together make this. So I love these. I have these in my collection at all times. For the Brow Blade in Urban Decay, I use Dark Drapes. My Morphe shade is Chocolate Mousse. And then my NYX brow is in the shade Espresso. I also test and try a lot of brow gels, but I have some favorites. The first being Pink Honey Brow Glue. I have so many of these. I think I have four or five, but today I used Poison Apple. So that's the one I pulled out. This is a brow glue that keeps my brows in place. I like that laminated brow effect. Put them where you want them to be. They're good. They're going to stay. This, you spray a little bit of water or makeup mist or whatever it is you're using and you grab a spoolie like this one. You run it in there, spoolie it through your brows. They're good to go. They stay in place all day. I'm so excited because Pink Honey is at Beauty Bay now, so I will link everything I talk about down below for y'all. 
I also love the NYX brow glue. This one, when it goes on, it does look like it has kind of a white glue look to it, like a little bit of Elmer's glue. It's, it's supposed to be clear, but it does kind of have that shine to it. But when you brush it in, it dries completely clear. I can never see it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell, but I have used this little guy a ton. This is such a good brow glue and it does what it says it's going to do. It is thick. It is a brow glue, but I like that it puts my brows where I need them and they're not going to move. It's very similar to the Pink Honey in that. I would say the Pink Honey is just a little bit better in terms of hold and precision, but if you want to be able to go into a drugstore and pick something up, the NYX is amazing. I'm not huge on tinted brow gels, but the one that I love is the Sigma Tint and Tame Brow Gel in the shade Dark. A lot of times with tinted brow products, for me, they don't give me as good of a hold as the other two, but I got this one from Sigma and it gives me like the coverage or, you know, like it coats the hair with a color, a pigment but it also holds them in place. So if you are somebody who has really nice brows and you just want a little more, but you also want the hold, check this one out from Sigma. It's really, really, really good. These three brow gels, brow glues, are the ones that I'm rotating through on the regular. They're my absolute top three. Okay, let's talk about my top three eyeliners. I pulled a few. I wanted to pull this one. LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner, but this is shade specific, okay? Not all of these Shockwave eyeliners are amazing, but the shade Fresh is so good. The shade in here is the shade that comes off on your eyes. Like, it is this shade and it stays. Now, one thing about all three of these brow products, not brow products, eyeliners is lasting power. I deal with allergies. You can see this eye today is just a little bit red. I, listen, fall, spring, all year long, summer, winter, always, I'm dealing with allergies. So my eyes will water and get irritated and all three of these things I'm gonna share with y'all last on me. Like that is, that is what I need from an eyeliner. I need it to last. This stays vibrant and beautiful and it's like, Mm, it's such a good price point. It's usually on sale for less than $5 and it looks so beautiful. I just love this shade. It can lean blue if you're wearing a blue look. It can lean green if you're wearing a green look. It's just a beautiful pop if you're wearing something neutral. Overall, this one is amazing. Again, the color is fresh. For black eyeliner, look at this little guy. I love my Too Faced Killer liners. These are very, very nice. I used to love the Milk Cream Gel liner they discontinued it. I don't know why. This is the closest I've found to replacing that formula. It's black. It glides on. It's nice. It lasts. I need to get another one. And I have to mention my Melt gel liners. Some of them are ultra matte. Some of them are reflex. I was just checking the formulas. But the Melt gel liners, these are only a few of what I have. I love that they come in all different colors. I love that you can get blues, grays, greens, blacks. Onyx is like the classic shade. Onyx is their black and it is an ultra matte. I have lots of these. I just pulled out a few to show y'all. I love this formula. It lasts well. If it says it's matte, it's matte. If it says it's reflective, it's reflective. Like it is so beautiful the gel liners it's just a favorite favorite formula for me i've tried other liners from different brands like this and nothing nothing compares to the melt in my opinion okay i wanted to share my favorite lip liners with y'all and i like these kind of for different reasons i just pulled out a few i didn't want to pull out every color of every lip liner but these are a few of my nyx suede matte lip pencils I'm wearing one of these today. I think I'm wearing the shade Cons. These are beautiful. These are a sharpenable lip pencil. These are stiff and creamy at the same time. They're stiff enough that you can get a nice line on the lips, creamy enough that you're not tearing at your lips, scratching them to get the pigment on. These are 
usually around five dollars sometimes you can get them on a good sale it just depends with NYX it kind of depends on where you go what price you're gonna get <laughs> but I like these I like that they're available in so many colors you know they have pink nudes brown nudes deep nudes light nudes reds like so many different colors they're so nice I have way more than this but I just don't I didn't want to dig through all my lip liners to pull them out but these are so nice they're such a good lip formula I also pulled out the ColourPop lippy pencils now I like these for a very different reason these you sharpen it looks like you wouldn't sharpen them but you do I love that these come in so many different colors like there's a nice shade range but I like these because they're very creamy. You can use them as a lip color if you want. Now, it can be a little bit more difficult to get a super precise line with these, but it's very easy to fill in the lips because they do glide on very nicely. If you're precise and careful, you can get a nice line, of course, but I love that it's easy to fill your lips in with these and you can just you do lip liner gloss you can go they're beautiful again they have a really nice shade range here i have bff2 that's probably one of my favorites bff3 which is a little deeper i buy these for my mom too she loves these she loves this lip formula and again the price point is hard to beat last is a new favorite and that is my melt lip pencils i have so many of these now and they're just so nice uh, my favorite shades are the originals, Sepia and Cinnamon. These are ultra precision pencils, and it's exactly like that. These, I think, are a little more creamy than the NYX. Very easy to get a precise line and fill in with. I love these. I'm so happy Melt came out with this style of pencil recently. I've really been enjoying it. Oh, I went into lips and I totally skipped mascara. So we're going to go a little bit out of order. I wanted to do like brows, eyes, lips, but it's okay. We're going to take it back to lashes. Favorite, favorite, favorite is my Melt Supernatural Lash Mascara. It's the mascara I have on today. Favorite of all time. It doesn't transfer. My lashes are quite long and they will kind of hit down here. And I'll try to keep my eyes open, let it dry, and I don't have transfer throughout the day. I hate when a mascara, like, gives me all these black speckles. This does not do that. It gives me volume, length, everything. I love it. I also love my Lash Freak from Urban Decay. This wand is very interesting, but it's so cool, and it gives you, like, intense pigment on the lashes it is a buildable formula but for me i just go on put it on the lashes so much mascara comes off and it just looks so intense and beautiful i love my essence lash princess false lash effect mascara now all of these are not created equally i have tried the ones that are the lash princess in the different colors no, you need the False Lash Effect Mascara. It's in this like mint green color. Beautiful lengthening mascara. None of these mascaras transfer on me. They last all day. I'm able to curl my lashes. They hold a curl well. They don't give little flakies everywhere. They don't rub off on the skin weird. I love these and I've repurchased all of these multiple times. Okay, lipsticks. A newer to me lipstick, but one that I instantly kind of fell in love with and have been reaching for a ton is these BK Beauty lipsticks. I don't know if they have a fancy name. I think it's just the lipsticks. These are so gorgeous. I do have a video on my channel lip swatching all of these. I love them so much. I'm actually wearing them today. I have several colors mixed though. It's a range of beautiful pinky shades that go from very light to deep which I really enjoy the packaging on these is super luxurious like when I hold this I can feel the weight it has a nice strong magnetic closure can you hear that magnet like very nice this feels like a luxury lipstick it's very hydrating nourishing really 
what I want in a cream lipstick. I want the color to go on, I want it to be pigmented, I want it to look nice, and I want it to be hydrating and long wear. Now this isn't like a liquid lipstick, so it's not gonna stay on through everything, but it's just a very comfortable formula that doesn't move around, doesn't slide around, but still lets me feel hydrated. I also pulled out a few of my favorite Propa Beauty lipsticks. I love these. These are at a great price point. They are beautiful shades. This is the shade Moxie. This is one of my favorites. And again, I like the bullet lipstick formulas that go on pigmented and don't feel dry on the lips. These are so beautiful. They have so many beautiful shades. I think the packaging is so cute. And this is a woman of color owned brand and she created nudes for everybody, which I think is just so cool. I fell in love with these the first time I bought some and I have just been in love ever since. Finesse, if I could only keep one color, this would be the color I keep. I reach for it so much. I wear it over and over again. But if you're looking for a bold color, Audacious is beautiful. Like it's this beautiful berry color for fall that's just so deep and rich. I love the formula, very comfortable to wear, and I love supporting indie brands. I was gonna say, I think my next one is an indie brand too. BK Beauty is an indie brand, Proppa is an indie brand, and that leads us in to my next pick. These liquid lipsticks from Odin's Eye. This is another indie brand, and these are the matte lip stains. These are lip stains, but they go on like a liquid lipstick. Like you get pigment, you're able to put these on and know that they're going to last all day because they are going to stain the lips. So if you put these on in the morning, you do everything you have to do, you go to work, you have dinner. You get ready to take your makeup off at night you're still going to have some color to your lips and i really like that without that drying feeling we all know that feeling that you put on a liquid lipstick and it's like all the moisture in the world is gone and your lips are like a desert this that is not these these do not make you feel like that some of my favorite shades are perfect plum beautiful especially for this fall time i pulled out apricot girl Apricot Girl from Odin's Eye, blush, lip, like it's always a favorite, and then Sweet Peach too. This one's a little bit more on the orangey peach side, and I just love it. So those are my top three lipsticks. For lip gloss, y'all already know. I feel like y'all already know. Why did I pull out so many? Okay, Lunar Beauty Lip Gloss, Holy Grail Lip Gloss. I'm putting these in the top three, but honestly, these are number one. These are superior. If I can only use one lip gloss for the rest of my life, this is what I'm reaching for. I don't remember what shade I put on today, but these are almost like a watery formula while still being a gloss. They smell like cupcakes. There's shimmer, non-shimmer, very shiny, make my lips look juicy and supple and everything I want. I love Lunar Beauty. They're so... Ah! There's so many different shades. They're just my holy grail lips. Like, I have to have all the shades. They're my absolute favorite. Next up, I pulled my Lime Crime Wet Cherry Glosses. I love these. Lime Crime has so many fun shades. This is my favorite. I've actually used up an entire Wet Cherry Cherry Slime and repurchased. These smell and taste like sour cherry candy but they make the lips look so juicy. And these are like, these two are so shimmery. Disco Cherry, Cherry Slime. And then I have the clear shade that's now tinted because I've used it so much in extra pop and just beautiful, beautiful glosses. And last up, I pulled out a few of my Fenty glosses. I had to mention these. These are the gloss bombs. They are thick, but glossy. I used up an entire one of the original Fenty Glow. I have a set of their minis. I love that Fenty does mini glosses. I think it's such a fun way to try out the formula, especially at the holidays. They have all kinds of different sets, but in the full size, I have that Fenty Glow. I have Fussy, which is more pink and shimmery, and then I have Diamond Milk. Now, all three of these have a shimmer to them, 
I think all the gloss bombs have a shimmer to them and then they have the creams that don't. I haven't tried those, but the gloss bombs I love. They have a shimmer to them that reflects the light, but isn't heavy glitter like the Lime Crime. And I like both. I like to have options. I also thought it would be cool to share with y'all my top three favorite brush brands. In case you're curious about what brand of brushes I love, First up, BK Beauty. Love, love, love BK Beauty brushes. The 101 is probably my favorite foundation brush ever. Um, all of their brushes are amazing. All of their face brushes that I have tried, I haven't tried everything they make, but I have tried a lot. Uh, I have the 206 here, which is great if you want a one and done all over shadow look. I love that. Most of my BK Beauty brushes are dirty right now. Here, this one right here, you can see, very dirty. I used this today to apply my Dior powder, no powder. Love this brush. I also have this one dirty. This is their 106 foundation brush. I just love my BK Beauty brushes. I also wanted to mention Sigma. Sigma is definitely a top brush brand for me. I love that their palettes come with brushes because their eye brushes are so nice. I have so many again, but I pulled out a few. This is one of my favorite highlighter brushes, like hands down. I think if I could only keep one highlighter brush, it may be the Sigma FO3 because it's just so good at picking up like the cream to powder type of highlighters that I love. This brush with that, those formulas work so well. I have my F80 and then this blush brush for cream products, the F15. Really all Sigma brushes I love. I love that they have a warranty, like everything, everything. Okay, I also wanted to mention these What's Up Beauty brushes because when I'm thinking of like top three brush brands, Sigma, BK Beauty, and then I was like, you know what eye brushes I'm reaching for constantly are my What's Up Beauty brushes. So What's Up Beauty just launched this year and they sent me their brushes. These are pretty pricey. I will link them down below, but these are natural hair brushes and I honestly reach for them so much. I have so many Instagram tutorials up where I'm using these brushes. They wash clean so well. They're so soft and there's something about the way they lay the shadows down that I just love. I love this very pointed brush. Like they only have a few eye brushes, but they have made me fall in love with them. Like I love the ones I have and every time I use them, I love them more. Like the more time goes on, I just I like them more and more and they have become like top three favorite status. Okay y'all, thank you so much for watching. I would love to know what your top favorites are. Even if you don't have a top three, tell me like your number one favorite. Tell me down in the comments. I would love to hear your answers to these questions. I am going to tell you quickly what is on the rest of my face. A lot of it I kind of already told you as we went through, but I'm wearing just the blush from the Sigma Cinderella duo just this blush shade right here i'm so happy i ended up buying that let me put it back in its place i'm wearing glam light pina colada highlighter just a little bit dusted on this shade right here very icy white shade on my eyes i'm wearing the matte shades from this sigma spicy palette this was gifted to me and then i'm wearing my alien cosmetics all i ever wanted just for the shimmers, I'm wearing Milky Way right here and Uranus on the inner corner. So this is kind of on the lid with this just very lightly on the inner corner. I wanted something a little toned down today. But thank you again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you very, very soon in another video. Bye!